The company alias module allows you to operate up to nine different company names with a single subscription of Limo Anywhere. The typical use case is where an operator may service different clientele types. For example, I have two different livery businesses. One services only corporate clients under the name of Adams Corporate Transportation, and the second services retail clients under the name Adams Limo. In this scenario, I would be able to have a booking tool for each one of my company's websites so that I can track which website the client booked on and can send them the properly branded confirmation email or payment receipt. I can also set up separate gateways which will allow me to process payments to different business bank accounts. Some companies might want to consider getting a separate system when they do not want their office staff accessing both companies' data, or if they do not like the idea of seeing both companies' resources in one list and having both companies sharing the same sections of the system. For example, both companies' reservations will be listed in the dispatch section, both companies' drivers will be displayed in the drivers list, both companies' fleet in the fleet list, and both companies' accounts in the account list. There are a few things you can do to make life easier with some of these lists and sharing of the sections. We'll cover that shortly. To set up an alias, I'll go to My Office, Company Settings tab, Company Information section, and Manage Company Alias link. The Use Online Reservation System for this alias checkbox will allow us to generate an online booking tool code for the company's website that I'm setting up. Next, we will give this profile a unique company alias, such as Adams Limo 2. Remember to leave out any special characters or spaces. Next, we will add our company's address and contact information. We'll be in the headers of the emails that you send out of the system, unless you add a logo. If I add the logo to this alias, it will replace all the information I have listed here on all of our default templates. If you would like to have both the logo and the address information, you will need to add the information to the logo or create a custom form. Once we save our alias, we'll need to go back into it to add the logo. This company alias can also be set up with a separate gateway so that the funds that are processed through this gateway will go to a different bank account. We can also set this company to handle all the rides in a different currency in the event that I have a company in another country or that I do business in different currencies than my main company. Now that our alias has been created, I would recommend going into Dispatch to turn on the alias column so that you can easily organize the rides by the company alias in that section. Let's check the grid setup section for the company alias option. Most admin system users will not have this option in their list turned on. If you don't see the option here, you will need to copy your profile from another user or create a new user then copy the profile from it. Here's my company alias field. I have placed a checkbox in it and moved it where I want to see it on my dispatch screen. Now when I click on the header of this column, it will organize my trips by the company and then the date and time. You also might consider organizing your driver list by changing their dispatch grid name to include the name of the company they drive for if you don't use those drivers for both companies. To do this, go to My Office, the Company Resources tab, Drivers, and add a new dispatch grid label here under each one of your driver profiles. You can also set up account holders for this alias by going into the Accounts section, filling in the account information, and selecting the alias from the dropdown. Now that the alias was added to the account, the system will apply the alias to the reservation when that account is added so that my branding will be correct when I email them the documents out of the software. You can also apply the alias to the reservation itself here and then this field will show you what website or online booking tool the trip came from if it was booked from one of your websites. Last, we can email over the code for our iframe or widget to our web designer so that he can plug in the booking tool for this new profile. We'll do this by going to My Office, Company Settings tab, Online Reservation System, ORES4, My Website or Widget, select the alias from the dropdown, and give your web designer the code that's listed below. 